over to me, we'll draw. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll promote and we'll swing jamming and draw a card from Demi Vimon. Chaos. <laughs> to the top of the security, yes? To the top of security. Um, Nasty. Always happy to see this in security. Not so happy yep. as the first one in the stack. As but the first one. We'll, we'll take it. All right, ladies and gents. Well, uh, we had a bit of a debacle with Bielsmon last time. Uh, it was quite an embarrassing way to use what I had been arguing was an auto win uh, starter deck, but you know, these things happen. Um, I maybe shouldn't have flashed the starter deck to Pete before we were playing so that he could put together the perfect counter, but uh, hey ho, your ego only gets you so far. Um, so instead, we're going to go back to our humble roots. We're going to try and ride out uh, match point with Imperial Dramon over here, or at least Pile Dramon Turbo, whatever you want to call this free dot deck. Um, and, you know, after doing a quick community poll, you guys overwhelmingly suggested that I do open up BT12 and chase some of the new Imperial support. Now, while Imperial Dramon is certainly not top tier, uh, arguably it's not even necessarily tier two. In the standard format, in the little sealed format that Pete and I have here, well, the BT12 support does admittedly look quite a bit stronger. The new Imperial is cool being able to warp up into fighter mode at the end of attack. The new Jogress, uh, Pyeldramon, and Dino Beamon are interesting cards. I don't know if they're going to be blowouts versus Pete, but having additional level 5 targets uh, never hurts, and having access to an additional XVmon and Stingmon certainly wouldn't be bad either. Uh, one thing I'm also looking forward to in the new set is that there's a new Vmon and I think a new Wormmon as well, which both have the end of turn Jogress uh, skills, kind of like Ragnalordmon's pieces do, which means that, you know, if I have to make some awkward plays like Slam or Evo into a Submarimon over something, I could still potentially Jogress into Pyeldramon here and then bottom deck something. And, you know, then it's up to Pete to say, do I want to Gaia Force this and, you know, stop him from maybe attacking me this turn or... Do I just let Kev have the turn to go swing, swing and start building up in the back again? I think there's an interesting dynamic that we can have there. And again, the new pieces are really good. The Dino Beamon especially is one that I want to get my hands on. Uh, and the new fighter mode would be really nice as well because it's basically Paladin mode um, being a lot easier to get into. It has the ability to bottom deck pretty much everything on Pete's side of the field, be a gigantic blocker with security attack plus one. So yeah, good cards. I hope I can get a hold of them. Who knows, Quartzmon might even be fun, uh, get access to my own degenerate level seven. But anyway, uh, we gotta crack open the packs first to see what we get. So I am gonna put this aside for a moment. I'll grab BT12 and then we'll jump right into the opening. All right, ladies and gents. So BT12 is the way to go. I think it was something like 70 or 75% voted in favor of BT12 over uh, BT8 or anything else. Um, so, you know, that's what we're going to do. Uh, I got access to the box. Uh, I didn't want to be overconfident and just buy eight packs. And, you know, the markup is like, ooh, might as well just get them cheaper. If I win today, great. I have a box that I can open to celebrate. Uh, but if not, I will have packs and I won't need to shill out more money <laughs> um, or shell out more money, I should say. Uh, afterwards. Uh, and also, I, they did give me a revision pack uh, with the with the box over here, and I think there's a few eroded cards. The only one I think that could be in here that would matter is the green Imperial Dramon. Um, not that I would even necessarily play it, but hey, it would be cool to, cool to have. So uh, I think this is fair game. Pete, you tell me if I'm wrong <laughs> after the fact. Uh, but yeah, we'll just open this up first and then we'll get right into the box and see what it's gonna give us. Um, I think there's some goodies. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got some goodies, all right. Uh, okay, guys, well, we have a level seven now. <laughs> we have Omnimon X. That's funny. Uh, Uomano, if I ever want to play Bogra, sure. Magnetramon, Bosamon, Plessio, Burning Star Crusher, Flame. Oh, you're really pushing me to play the uh, Virus Imperial, right? Okay, well, I mean, it's a level seven. It is a level seven. It's a very expensive level seven, but uh, it is something I will definitely consider. Uh, I don't think I can really use either of these. No, they don't have the black box, so I can't do that. And then this requires the wrong color, Pyeldramon uh, and um, Dino Beamon. So no dice on that, but hey ho, so it goes. Um, all right, and just give me a second to cut this open and we'll, uh, we'll jump right back in. All right. 
too much of a battle with the plastic, but what are you gonna do? Uh, oh, we got two promo packs in here. Oh, this is very, oh yeah, that's right. You get the security rookies in here. And then I think I get, get an alternate art of, um, oh, it's the hunter stuff. Okay, that's not really relevant, but uh, as a very low budget deck that I wouldn't mind building, sure, it couldn't hurt to get a piece. And what do we get? Uh, Yasiamon. Uh, that's actually funny. I, as I understand, this is one of the non-anime uh, armor evolutions for Vmon, so it's cool, but uh, yeah, totally not usable for us, unfortunately. Uh, and let's see what we get from the security rookies. I guess for us, Blucomon would be the best uh, because it's it's blue and we're still going to be evoing over blue eggs, uh, but Pulsemon, I guess, would be cute. Uh, or I could get Dorumon since I very much want to slot that into D-Brigade and it is an expensive uh, as hell card right now. Harrismon and Blucomon. Okay, well, that's usable. That is not. <laughs> that is not. And now we gotta pick out eight packs. So we'll do four from each side. Pray these are the four that have Imperial Dramon in them, and we'll just uh we'll just jump right in. This could be fun, why not? The extra the extra draw two is fine. Um, although obviously I would much prefer to have Vmons and Wormons. Ooh. Oh, he's making the Making the tabs a little a little worse this time around, huh? Or is it just me and I still suck at opening packs after God knows how many weeks of sealed only? Uh, okay, we got Agumon, Great Maelstrom, Flamemon, Choo Choo Mon, Home Run Blast, Yakimon, Shoutmon, Drakmon, Monimon, <laughs> all the safe stuff, Balmon X, and Taiki. Oof, nada. We are not off to a good start. Plenty of stuff for, uh, for hunters, but... I really, at least in this year, I mean, theoretically out of the whole box, I could get enough to play the deck and have it work, but yeesh. Okay, that, that guy, Mercury Mon, if I was playing Black Hybrids, Yasiamon. Hey, this is actually pretty good. It's jamming and it doesn't require the Koji, so I think I'll just swap, uh, I'll swap this in. We got the Wormmon, fantastic. Gumdramon, War Growlmon, and <laughs> Chaos X. Hey, there we go. Uh, for my Machine Dramon deck, I needed another copy of that, so that is fantastic. Uh, but this is the best pull out of the pack for sure. Because, um, yeah, end of turn, uh, Joe ability, and I can search for an Imperial Dramon and a Ken. So this will actually grab me the Dual Tamer. Uh, that's really nice. And yeah, Lanamon giving me a free jamming swing is really, really good. The fact that it's a two Evo versus Kendo Guru Mon's three uh, on a level three, that will come up. Because I can tuck, uh, not this, I could tuck the V-Mon if I get it, uh, drop the Stingmon, and then immediately Joe Gris. Kalmaramon. Uh, niche applications, Choakai, <laughs> Betsumon, Geo Gray, and Life A. Hey, there we go, Vimon, uh, Jet Mervamont. Oh, that's just an uncommon. Uh, Iru, Burger, Pile Dramon, and A. Hey, Arrestor Dramon Superior Mode. Okay, oof. That is a card I. <sighs> I mean, even if I'm not going to play Hunters, it's nice to have. But here we go. There is our first Jogress target. Uh, that is just a rare. Oh, okay. It's a little weird. It does some source stripping. Uh, it will stun stuff, which is cool. And it gets you some memory back if you're free or Imperial Dramon. So it comes up if I want to run the bug top end again. But uh, okay, yeah, this is a good start. I can already slot those in and that's going to make a huge difference to the, uh, the tempo of the deck. Uh, let's see what else we can get here. Absolutely like massacring these packs, guys. I have not, <laughs> I haven't learned a damn thing. I haven't learned a damn thing about opening sealed product the whole time. Uh, flame me in the comments. What are we gonna do? All right. Omni Shout, Vanilla, Vanilla, Beelzemon. I don't want to see that. Uh, Swimmon, whatever. You. What a horrible, horrible errata. Rioma, Aldemon, Gallantmon. Okay, well. Woot to Pete. <laughs> Not picking up the Gallantmon starter deck just to, uh, you know just to mess with Pete a little bit there. That is a busted card, but uh, not not something I have easy access to this week. <laughs> uh, if there is gonna be a next week, well, that's another story, I guess. Yakimon, it is a three cost blocker. That's something to consider. Uh, Beelzemon stuff, Jaga, Tuar, Mermaid, Ikakimon, Shoutmon, Stingmon, there we go. Watchmaker and another Taiki, okay. Gain a memory when you would Jogris. So, I mean, effectively it's still a three drop uh, and it gives piercing instead of the draw one, uh, which, you know, it has its niche applications that will come up sometimes. Sometimes I would like to just beat over one of Pete's guys and get the piercing check, even if I die. Sometimes just to take the body off the board at the end of the turn works out. 
Uh, Geo Gray, Footmon, Growlmon, Yasumon, Wisemon, Agumon, I think that's a bug at the back, Kalmaramon, Arrestodramon, Shogun Gecko. Okay, <laughs> second Jogress target, and yeah, uh, Grand Kuagumon, which could be a fun niche pick, because um, it can allow me to suspend and beat over something, so it's basically Blitz. Uh, and it'll allow me to go into it if I don't want to necessarily do the big Jogress plays and like overextend, right? Because that, that seems to be my issue a lot of the time. Uh, the starter deck Imperial Dramon just overextends and plays into Death X too much, but this at least lets me like take out a body and get a memory back. Maybe memory choke Pete a little bit. Uh, Chokai, Apasu, oh, so much Hunter stuff. Davis, okay, and yeah, Baldemon, cool. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> this is nice. Basically a free memory if I have something with free in the traits, which is good. And then this will allow our Imperial to uh, warp Digivolve, or at least our Pyeldramon and Dino Beamons to warp Digivolve um, up into uh, Imperial Dramon, which means, yeah, maybe I can't run this after all, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what the space calls for here. Uh, I think there's a Digitama in there. So Joker, Burger, Greymon, Omni Shout, A, there we go. That's good. Interesting, interesting tech. Iru, Burger, XVmon, Particle Jip Cannon, and Takuya. Okay, so no Imperial Dramon out of here, which is big sad, but uh, I think we got a pretty good start. And um, the Security Rookie is nice. This is our new hybrid. We do have access to a level seven since pretty much all of our stuff is uh, blue at the top end. But yeah, this is, this is what we really wanted. So now, I didn't get two Wormmons, which is a little disappointing, but the starter deck Wormmon uh, does have that end of turn Jogress skill. So I think what I can do is finagle this together. Uh, two Pyeldramon is nice. Again, it's two more Jogress targets. Uh, Dino Beamon arguably would have been better because I'd be able to beat over um, Pete's stuff and potentially with this trash the top card of his security. But I still think this is fine. It's two more uh, blue-green level fives. Yeah, if I can stave off some of his aggro, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, the extra level four target uh, is really nice. And then of course, these will just really help um, to increase the tempo of the deck, especially if I go into this and I just stun him or I go into the old Pyeldramon and bottom deck something. Uh, that still puts Pete in a really awkward position. This is just a nice extra tamer to slot in. Obviously, I <laughs> gotta be careful of the Death X Mon, but I do have some more blue hybrids as well, so I can potentially remove them. That is just a cool card to have. And uh, this maybe will be a fun uh, tech spot over here if I want to uh, beat over something pretty easy. So I don't know, let's see. Uh, there's a lot to consider here, but definitely these are going in automatically. So are these guys and probably these guys as well. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest. It, it's basically everything except this guy over here. So let me take some time. I'm gonna sleeve up the deck and then we will go from there. Welcome back, Imperial. And for the first time in a very long time, I've got plenty of new cards to jam into the deck. To begin with, the new Wormmon and Vmon out of BT12 are much needed pieces. They both search for our Tamers and a free attribute Digimon, adding some much needed consistency. But we also get access to that delicious end of turn Jogress skill. This will let me maintain tempo and force Pete to immediately deal with my new level five, or, you know, I'm just gonna press my advantage from there. I've also jammed in a few copies of the starter deck Wormmon to help with those Jogress plays as well. And I think it's more warranted now that I can do it a bit more consistently. Speaking of which, the new XVmon and Stingmon both assist in that regard, sharing the ability to gain a memory when Jogressing potentially allowing me to continue my turn after triggering the aforementioned Vmon and Wormmon skills. And of course, these pieces all have great value because I finally have a new Jogress target in BT12 Pyeldramon. Source Strip and Stun isn't really this deck's thing, but it's another Pyeldramon, so hey, I can conserve the starter deck one for turns when I can really press my aggression. And hey, we've got a new Davis. Sadly, he's just at one copy, and since we're still running just two fighter modes, I don't see the skill coming up too much. But, you know, it is an extra memory and a cheap tamer that I can turn into Lanamon in a pinch. So, hey, while it's not the uber-consistent Imperial Dramon deck that I'd like it to be, I think it's probably my best shot at closing things out. I mean, if I can't win with this deck, then I'm gonna be in a world of trouble. And on that nerve-wracking note, let's jump into the match and see what madness Pete has in store for me. All right, so heading into game one, 
I have no idea what Pete's playing, and I am extremely suspicious given last week's blowout. If it's Dino Control again, I will probably be in a world of trouble since Pyeldramon does not love security bombs. Still, I have to play to my deck's strengths, so I of course set up the XVmon in the back and pass it over to Pete. This absolute Chad flips over the Tokomon egg, leaving me very confused, and when he drops the Kari, I have my suspicions, but I can't take a wild guess and overplay my hand just yet. But you know, this is Imperial, so naturally I come out and swing, and oh well. <laughs> to the top of the security, yes? <laughs> to the top of security. Uh, Nasty. Always happy to see this in security. Not so happy yep. as the first one in the stack. As but the first one. We'll, we'll take it. So now I know for sure that Pete is on Mastemon, or as I like to call it, scuffed security control. So I've got to play very cautiously from here on out, and that is exactly what I do. On Pete's turn, he of course drops the Godomon, and now that the cat is literally out of the bag, we begin an awkward game of keep away, as I spam Mega Deaths and literally anything else I can to prevent Pete from sticking the Godomon and making the Jogress play. An early game Mastemon would be the death of me, especially since the BT11 Angels can give him the blocker retaliation combo, which obviously shuts down Pyeldramon. Plus, sticking Mastemon means he'll always have access to another level 5 to just Jogress with again. So, uh, yeah, keep away it is. Things get so ridiculous that I even have to go into fighter mode, facing down a pretty stacked board just so that I can out the Godomon again and stop Pete from end of turn Jogressing. Now, I get met with a chaos degradation for my trouble, but thanks to that, I have a decent amount of memory so I can hopefully brace for the incoming Mastemon. Keyword being, hopefully. It takes Pete a turn, but he eventually hard evos the Mastemon, recovering up to take away game from me. Now, he can't quite press his advantage, however, so I do get to theoretically stay in for the game a little longer. And hey, you know what? I, I might as well go for it at this point, so I Jogress up into Pyeldramon, and after realizing that Mastemon does not have the blocker inheritable, I decide, yeah, I'm definitely going to chance it. I swing in twice, hitting a Mekumon in security, but with Pete's stack clear and the Jogress draws having paid off, I can slam down the hybrid and take game one. Game two, well, <laughs> where do I even begin? Things start out a bit slower, since I don't have XVmon on hand and no ways to easily search him out, so I'm forced to hide in the back, allowing Pete a chance to get his Godomon out early. Thankfully, I can still respond, Jogressing into Chimeramon to pop a small body, and fearing the Chaos Degradation, I just hard evo into Fighter Mode to bounce the Godomon. Again, an early game Mastemon means game, so I'm gonna make him work for it or die trying. Pete does stall me out a bit with the starter deck Angel Woman, but Fighter Mode does a good job of controlling the board and applying a ton of pressure. And since I'm able to suspend and then out the Angel Woman, I can again keep the level fives off the board to stop Mastemon from just popping in and ruining my day. That said, I do start to play a bit recklessly, knowing that eventually Mastemon will drop, and you know, I want to have some resources on board, so I start building up my tamers and even drop an extra rookie while I'm at it. Death Xmon immediately comes down on my head, and while it's not a board wipe this time, it does leave me in a pickle. I'm actually forced to burn my hybrid and my Davis in order to cut down on my overall card count, and then I Mega Death the big baddie, knowing full well that Pete might just slam it and board wipe me next turn. But if he does, I'll have plenty of memory to rebuild, and he won't be building up into a Mastemon in the meantime. Things cool off for a bit, and I'm basically stuck building up a Pyeldramon in the back, which is not ideal, but with Pete's security stack still relatively intact, I really can't afford to go all out. I continue to cower in the back for at least a little longer, but once I see another Godomon come down, well, I'm forced to come out. Fighter mode is the call here, bouncing the cat, but a chaos degradation out of security immediately wipes my stack, so I kinda get set to square one. 
Things really grind out as Pete sticks Ophanimon and then gets into his Mastemon, prompting me to once again Mega Death it or face certain defeat. And yes, certain defeat is very much on the table since Pete basically has me with no security and just one card left in my deck after my initial draw for turn. So things are looking pretty bleak. I promote my Vmon and I am very terrified of what Pete's last security is. If it's a chaos degradation, I lose, but you know, if I don't go for it now, Pete just has to pass turn and I'll lose automatically anyway. So I Evo into XVmon, draw my final card, and go for it. Um, just to be rude, I guess we'll play the Stingmon for three. We will have to Jogris, I guess, because it doesn't matter one way or another. We'll go into Pyeldramon, no draw. Uh, it'll bottom deck the Angelwomon. That's why not. <sighs> Swing, jamming, and unsuspend. Swing, jam. Chaos degradation. Yep. Swing for game. Ah! Oh. Uh. God damn! <laughs> oh wow! Oh wow! Oh Pete! Oh Pete! Can, you know what though? That's the way to end it. That was that was the most nail biting end. Oh my god! Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we did it. This journey began with my partner Vimon and I, and while I did stray here and there, I am ending this journey with Vimon by my side. It's been such a wild ride, from all Force to Imperial, Jessamon to Ragna, and a brief debacle with Beelzemon. I started out very strong, but Pete rallied back and damn near stole the entire series from me. It's been months of my life, and a regular and very happy fixture in it. It's been just fantastic to really dive into this game and grow as a player, and I really owe that to Pete more than anyone else. He helped get me into the game and taught me the basics, and he's been here constantly challenging me and pushing me to improve ever since. And of course, I have to thank all of you. When I started this series with Pete, I was a bit lost about what to do on YouTube. I didn't really think this would go anywhere, but you know, there's so many more of you watching now and it's really given me a creative second wind. So again, thank you to all of you for sticking it with me throughout this journey. And it's been an absolute blast. And with all of that said, it's time to finally close things out on Sealed Only 1v1. Wherever it is, Whatever it is, I will catch you all in the next one. And until then, take it easy.